This is Twit. One thing I did want to ask you about. Uh, last week, NBC, uh, and we've talked a little bit about this, a lot of us. Oh, Leo, I know what you're going <laughs> to Go ahead. Uh, as part of their Olympic coverage on the nightly oh, news, Richard Engel, their yep. uh, their international correspondent. Uh, Richard, I like so much. He does such good reporting. I've followed him through the trenches of you know of the the middle Middle East, and wow. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously he's not a tech, very technical guy. So they hired. Oh. This is their first mistake: an antivirus company to yep. set up a test to see yep. how hackable are you, the premise and and this is and I blame Richard for this or perhaps his producer they went in with the premise that if you use a device in Sochi you're at risk and they <laughs> and they went in to prove it right so and this is of course the wrong way to do news you don't do news with with the story in your mind and then go out and say let's get the evidence Right. You're investigating. And this was not an investigation. They brought in a guy from Trend Micro who brought in a Windows machine and a Mac, uh, opened it up. By the way, you saw Richard Engel tearing open that Mac box. Oh, that I'm was just going to say, he got, it was hard to watch because it was just this gorgeous Apple yeah, box that we all that are aware obviously. of where you just lift the lid off and sort of air seeps in. And so no. it's, he, he tore it open like know, a the, FedEx box. Oh, my God. <laughs> but that wasn't yes. really the crime. The crime was no. editing because uh, what they did is they, uh, they, they, first of all, they weren't in Sochi. They were in Moscow, thousand, a thousand plus miles away. Uh, they went into a coffee bar. He had an Android phone this, uh, and these two devices. Uh, they did not patch any of the devices. What they didn't show is, uh, but we found out later because the Trend Micro consultant felt guilty, I think, uh. or was worried because he posted a blog post explaining what they'd actually oh. done. The security industry went nuts over this because it was just so irresponsible. I mean, it got so much coverage. It freaked everybody out. The, 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 the message was, you go and turn anything on and it's immediately taken over. I mean, that's what we were told. But, but the fact is... They clicked on links. I mean, they they, well, they, they and by the way, did nothing that, that you couldn't have done here in the studio. Yes, yes. they went to bad websites, malicious websites. Yes. But neither machine was updated. In fact, and I this is not completely clear. The the Trend Micro blog post said that the Apple machine had Flash and Java installed, but at the same time, he said that they hadn't done any updates or installs on the machines. He oh. actually installed two known bad vectors that don't come on Apple machines for that reason. So he installed Java, installed Flash on that machine. Did right. not do Windows Update or Apple Update. These are out of the box, except for putting crap on the machine. Then surfed to malicious websites, and lo and behold, after and running... On, and clicked on links and, and said, you know... Like, and ran software and, and said, yes. okay, okay, okay. They opened Word doc. They did all the stuff that the... And then, uh, and they didn't show this, this was even more offensive to me... They go into the Android phone, intentionally disable the setting that says you can't download uh, third-party apps, and yep. went and downloaded malware. They didn't show any of this in the edit. They merely showed, look, my Android phone has been hacked. After you intentionally download malware, I would expect that. I know. Uh, so I, I think I, the security guy from Trend got cold feet and, and blogged and revealed what had happened. But it was obvious if anybody watched the piece, it was a crap piece. NBC has not yet apologized. It is reprehensible. It's poor journalism. It's scare tactics. And it's a lie. And by the yeah. way, NBC is owned by Comcast. I don't have to say any more. <laughs> <laughs> the worst company in the United States. I'm so glad you reminded me because I, I meant to talk about it th uh, uh, today because this was, I, I mean, it, it generated a huge backlash in the security industry because everyone looked at it and said, wait a minute. Th and, and, and I was frankly, I mean, I like. I like Richard Engel, but this was, you know, the as same you said. As, same as rigging a Pinto to explode. No yep. different. It's a lie. Yeah. Uh, and there was, and sadly, there was a good opportunity to help people understand how you get infected and what not to do. But they didn't the only, take that. The only flip side is if it caused people to leave their stuff at home, th that's probably better, too. I mean, I, you know, he, he, you know, the the takeaway was try not to bring anything with you that you don't actually need. And it's yeah. like, well, okay, that's not bad advice. I, I mean, guess. It's like, you know, I mean, it's, it's but it's no more dangerous there than it is that's here. A very good point. There was nothing about being there that was. And, and I mean, and they talked about all these. It was like 
poised hackers who were like, you know, peering around the corners and looking at you as you walk down the sidewalk and, you know, like zeroing in on you. I mean, it, it really was uh, quite a fright piece. It's very, it's, it was so disappointing to me. Uh, I used to work for NBC, and this is why, by the way, I don't work for mainstream media. They are appalling. Yeah. Anyway, I I, I just I knew you I'm probably so thought something about that, but I I thought I'd mention it. All right. I'm so glad no, you didn't forget. Enough to bring it up. said. Yeah. yeah.